Dennis, let's get a window seat so that we can enjoy the trip down to the country. Isn't it exciting? Going on a camping holiday, Penny. I hope I've got everything. A warm sweater and some good thick stockings. They're the most important things, Dennis. Camping sites can be very drastic. As soon as we reach the camping site, I want you all to pitch your tents. Make sure you make them secure. The weather forecast is a bit grassy, I'm afraid. Who cares about the weather, sir? We're going on a smashing camping holiday! Hooray! <laughs> Ooh, crikey, it's cold! I'm going to draw myself a hot water bottle to keep warm. Draw me one, please. Right, Here you are. See if that will stop your teeth shattering. Abandon sets. Abandon all sets. Jake to the woods. Hooray, follow me. The field is flooding. He'll never get a fire going with those wet sticks. This is my wax waterproof crayon. I'll draw us a hot stove to warm us up. Good job. Penny, hurry up, we're all freezing. Tuck in, everybody. This should keep the cold out while we all get ourselves warm and dry. Mmm, smell those sausages. I don't know where you found that wonderful cooking stove last night, Penny, but it certainly saved our bacon. Or was it sausages? Anyway, we, uh, we shall need some wood for the stove if we are to survive another night. The weather forecast isn't good. Leave it to us, sir. Dennis and I will collect some. Yeah, we'll find lots of nice dry wood for the stove. Splendid. Meanwhile, this morning sunshine should dry our tents out. <laughs> Listen, isn't that somebody crying? It's coming from the old caravan. <laughs> What's wrong? Why are you crying? Ah. Uh, Oh, it's so very sad. I lost my little puppy dog. He's been stolen. Pinched. Ah, uh, how do you know he's been stolen, old gypsy lady? Yes, he could just be lost and hiding around here somewhere. We'll help you find him. No, he's stolen, me dears. It was in the cards. Not only that, I've seen the face of the thief. The thief, oh, it's there in my crystal ball. See? Watch as the crystal ball clears. Look there. Tis him. That's him. He came to me caravan, asking the way to the market. And when he'd gone, I found that my darling little puppy had been taken away from his favourite basket. <laughs> Stolen. <laughs> Don't cry, old lady. Dennis and I will go to the market and look for this man, uh, this thief. Yeah, we know what he looks like. We'll get your little puppy back for you. Don't cry. <coughs> Listen, here's the puppy. Look, over there. It's the store selling pets. And look, Penny, it's the man we saw in a crystal ball. The rotter. He's selling budgery guards, goldfish and kittens. I bet he's stolen all those poor creatures. How do we get the old gypsy lady and her pet puppy back, Penny? We can't buy him. We haven't got any money. How much do you want for that little puppy, mister? Five quid. That's too much for kids like you. What it? Five pounds, Penny. We'll never be able to afford that. Hey, you two kids. We demand my flowers for me. Will I make a phone call? I'll give you 50 pence. OK, mister. We'll look after them for you. Look at those tatty flowers, Dennis. Who'd want to buy them? Is that all the flowers you've got? I'm about to meet a famous lady film star for dinner, and I've forgotten her flowers, but I need bunches of them. If you'd care to wait a moment, sir, I'll get you some beautiful flowers. Wait here, Dennis. I'm just snipping round the corner. I'm using my special wax crayon just in case the film star lady puts them in water. There we are, sir. These should make a film star twinkle with delight. Wonderful. 
You've saved me an embarrassing meeting. Well done, children. Here, take this. You've earned it. Oh, thank you, sir. Twenty pounds, Dennis. Did you ever see so much money? Where are my flowers? We sold them all, sir. Look. Twenty quid? For those tatty old flowers? Oh, you two kids are real traders. Take a fiver. I'm happy with this kind of profit. <laughs> Oh, Penny, you've got enough money to buy the puppy. Oh, you are clever. You two wonderful children must be rewarded for returning me dear, beloved little puppy. This is a very rare wishing stone, my dears. It will give you just one wish. Take it as a reward for your kindness. And be happy. Oh, thank you. We must go now because we're supposed to be collecting wood for the campfire tonight. It looks like rain again. Take that cartload of kindling wood, my dear. I've got plenty of wood for me fire around the back of my caravan. Oh, thank you. That'll give our stove a good stock of wood. It looks as like if we're going to need it by the look of that sky. Who wants more sausages before the weather breaks? It looks as like if we're going to have another stormy cold night, I'm afraid. I'm still cold, Dennis. I think I'll draw another couple of hot water bottles to keep us warm. Our tent's blown away! Abandon tents! Abandon all tents! Take to the woods! Hurry! Follow me! I'm fed up with this weather, Dennis. What we need is somewhere warm and dry to camp. I wish we knew a place, Penny. Somewhere sunny and hot. A wish! Of course, a wish! That's what the old gypsy lady gave us as a present. Do you think it works, Penny? She was a gypsy, wasn't she? And gypsies are different to ordinary people. Let's find out. We wish we were camping on a warm tropical island with hot sunshine and gentle breezes. There. It. And palm trees, Penny. Don't forget the palm trees. Oh, yes, and, um, uh, and palm trees and coconut scent, please. A tropical island? I must be dreaming. No! Oh, I am dreaming. There, that should complete our wish, Dennis. We want two chocolate sundaes and a banana sandwich, please, waiter. And ask him if he can do me a pint of fried sausages, Penny. <laughs> oh, yes, and, and a plate of fried sausages, please, waiter. <laughs> <laughs>